you, you did that for me. Um, hey, I just wanted to let you know, uh, you've been scrolling for nine hours. Yeah, we sent you a few little videos saying, hey, why don't you take a break, go outside, get something to eat. No, nope. And then, you, and then that little thing came up and said, hey, remember you told us to make you put in a passcode? So when it's been an hour and you said this will stop me and then you just put in that passcode and just kept on going and she will here look I, look I'm not here to scold you okay it's the light outside it's dark outside who know who knows what it is outside you've broken through keep going I wanted to tell you that there is a hilarious video that's just like two two three four five um, it's like six seven eight videos down. Like 10, 10, 15, 20, 20, 30 videos max. Just write that. So funny. You're not going to want to miss it. So just a couple more hours and then you can put it down. adopt you I was adopted the best thing that ever happened to me the best thing I ever did I grabbed my dad's finger my adopted dad he was like my real dad anyway all through my life his name was Alan he was wonderful I grabbed his little finger and he decided to take me I was under a year old clever wasn't I even at that age I could work it out where I belonged guys don't worry she's not in the kitchen she's in the living room okay so i've always wanted to try this honeycomb let's go Okay. So obviously it's like teeth achingly sweet. It's satisfying to chew, I guess, because it's like beeswax. It tastes good and I'm bad. Thank you, bees. I woke up one morning and my truck was covered with more bees than usual, so I ran outside in my pajamas to see what was going on. A swarm of bees that I caught the night before was leaving their hive and swarming again. I tried to offer their new hive back to them, but they weren't moving in very quickly, which told me that they wanted to go somewhere else. It was a race between me and the bees. I had to find the queen before the bees found a place to fly off to. After a few minutes, I found her. I put her in a clip to keep her safe, but before I could put her in the new hive, I had bees swarming to her in my hand. As soon as I put the queen in the hive, the bees began to go right in. I still had some bees on my hand who weren't leaving because they could still smell their queen on me. So I shook them off so they could find her. Within minutes, the entire colony was rushing to get back into their new hive. You can see how fast they were moving and how the queen was covered in bees. I waited for all the bees to get into their hive and it was another great day of saving the bees in my pajamas. Hello, I'm Harry. I uh, just wanted to wish 
A massive congratulations to the senior class of Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High. Um, on graduating, congratulations. You are an incredibly strong group of people and I have no doubt that you're all going to do incredible things with whatever you choose to do in the future. So good luck. Um, love each other. Be nice to each other. And um, I hope at some point I'll get to see you guys. So take care. Congratulations. Happy graduation. I know we just broke up, but if happy ever after it did exist, oh, I will still be holding you like this. Can't I can't work properly without my uh, without my boys? Just doesn't feel right. You were here for your very first pap smear and pelvic exam. Okay, let me walk you through what we'll do. So first thing is first, I'm going to pull these out for you. And what you're going to do is you're going to scoot your bottom all the way to the edge. You feel like your butt's going to fall off. And then I'm going to do an outside exam. And then I'm going to grab the speculum. Now, I like to start with the smaller speculum. And I always say, if you're sexually active, this should be maybe a little uncomfortable and weird, but it should not be painful. And what we're going to do is around the vaginal opening, put the speculum in and then slowly open it. And that's the weird part. Now, once we are inside the vagina, we look in that room. And in the back of the room, there should be a donut shaped structure that looks like a cervix. This is what we're testing for your pap. You take the first brush, which is a very bristly brush here, very soft into the little bit of the opening of the cervix. The second one is gonna be a wiping motion and we're testing for cervical cell cancer. Got it. My favorite letter I ever got said, Dear Steve, I want to be a pizza. Bye. That was my favorite letter I ever got. Okay, I can do this. Maya, what are you drinking? Root beer? You want some? <gasps> oh, honey, what's for the face? You are drinking beer, Maya. From the root. Ralph, it's not actually... <laughs> 
first it was weed, and now it is beer. Rawls, you're going down the wrong path, Maya. Riley, root beer is a type of soda, like Coke. Maya, now you're doing hardcore drugs.